two smaller, shorter buildings are office buildings in total 260,000 square feet. It brings a little bit of that uh, concept of work into the mixed-use project. And all of it is built on the podium of which is half a million square feet of retail. Next. Here you're going to see a little bit of a sequence of what the construction, uh, how it worked since the beginning it, when we broke ground in October 2012 through August 2015. As you can see, this is a massive undertaking, more than 5 million square feet of construction, uh, two levels of underground parking. It took us one year to get out of the ground, uh, and the building is getting erected, as you can see. Now, in the last two or three months, we have completed most of the envelope, and are hoping to start opening uh, the different components by the end of the year. Next. Interesting aspects of the project, one of them is sustainability. Uh, the project is uh, pre-certified and uh, looking to get certified for LEED. And uh, what that means, sustainable, less energy, and um, lower cost to operate. Uh, in this, this slide, we see the climate ribbon, which is a massive 150,000 square feet structure. It's actually a trellis that covers the retail portion of the, of the project. So basically what it does, you're going to be able to be outdoors, enjoying a uh, shopping experience, but uh, you're going to be always covered by that trellis and protected from the elements. But also the trellis is um, collecting the water from the rain, which is going to co collect it in cisterns and going to be utilized for uh, landscaping irrigation. Also those spades, you can see waving, are meant to designed to channel, to funnel the wind, the breeze from the bay so that Inside the project, you're going to be always enjoying a breeze, six to nine knot breeze, which is going to make it very comfortable. Again, environmental conscious design, but also in many ways we call it a piece of art. Next. Another important feature of the project is two underground parking levels. This is very expensive to build in Miami. As you know, we have the water table very close to the surface, but Swire was able to um, the, given the size of the project, excavate two levels of underground parking. What it does is basically removes the parking from the street level and that opens the street level to the retail. So you're going to basically contribute to the environment, to the city grid, by having that uh, relationship between the retail and the street. But also, it's also is a mitigation of traffic element because the parking extends on th through three city blocks so for you we will be able to ex access the project on one side, let's say on 7th Street, and leave on 8th Street, or leave on South Miami Avenue. That way you can pick your way in and out of the project, avoiding traffic. Next. Uh, again, another look at the, uh, at the project. The, for us, it's very important. This is a pedestrian-friendly project. We have a metro mover station in the project. Basically, you're going to be able to get off the metro mover, jump into directly onto the third level of the, of the retail. The Metro Mover, for those who don't know, is just a looping, a small train looping around the, the downtown area in Miami and connecting to the, met, the Metro Rail which goes to the airport. So you can arrive in Miami in the airport without having to use a car, such as Peter said, not even having to take the Uber, you can just go jump on the train and get to the project without uh, touching the surface. This is an image of one of the bridges connecting, pedestrian bridges connecting uh, the different um, blocks. And as you can see, it runs above the street level. So it's all pedestrian friendly and connected. Connectivity is key in this project. Here an image from, of the project once finalized. And I just wanted to point out the, highlight the next one, next phase is. As you, as you can see, there's a big tower on the center, uh, just uh, extending almost double the height of the rest of the buildings. That is Brickle City Center Phase 2. We call it one Brickle City Center. It's going to be a 82-story mixed-use tower, and we plan to um, launch construction around 2017, deliver by 2020 and 2021. Basically, uh, I think Swire is, uh, uh, believes in Miami long term and is betting second bet on, on Miami and building this uh, extraordinary tower which is um, hope, uh, most likely going to be the highest building in uh, Florida and probably uh, south of um, Manhattan. 
uh, again, office um, and uh, retail, office, hotel, and residential, all in one vertical structure, adding to that uh, play, work, uh, flavor of Brickell City Center. Just a short, very brief video, I think it tells everything, but it's just taken from a drone and a few weeks ago. It shows a little bit of the project, what it looks like today. And on the top of the hotel, you see the, the sugar bar with a Balinese garden, extraordinary views of uh, Brickell and the Bay. That's the hotel, again, East Hotel with the amenity. The, the structure, the climate ribbon, you can see how it funnels the wind into the project and protects, it's going to protect the patrons on, from the environment. A piece of art, as we call it. The, the, the three or four level structure, retail, lower floors, luxury, uh, second floor, premium, upper floor, food and beverage. Uh, anchored by Saks, uh, Fifth Avenue, and also by Cinemax. There you, you can see the, one of the residential components and all going to be tied together in one single mixed project. It's going to be truly at the center of Brickell uh, City Center. Thank you.